this is a set in like like the 50s or something like it's kind of a like pre-sexual revolution kind of thing so they don't know what they're doing and so it's describing like the awkwardness of their honeymoon okay oh yeah okay. yeah trust okay. me trust okay. me i read the whole thing the whole well, the whole the whole section the whole chapter yeah he's like i've, I've read this book like four times I, hey <laughs> i i prepare you know All like you prepare we're like, yeah things are getting spicy she found his testicles first and not at all afraid now she curled her fingers softly around his extraordinarily bristling item oh, she, <laughs> she had seen in different forms on dogs and horses but i never quite believed could fit comfortably on a adult Who wants human. to fuck animals in these books i think she's just saying he's hung like a horse Drawing her fingers across its underside, she arrived at the base of it's. his penis, which she held with extreme care. It actually said penis. For she had no idea how sensitive or robust it was. She trailed her fingers along its length, noting with interest its silky texture, right to the tip, which she lightly stroked and then amazed by her own boldness she moved back and down a little to take this penis firmly about halfway long and pulled it down towards a slight adjustment until she felt it just touching her labia how could she have known what a terrible mistake she was making had she pulled on the wrong thing had she gripped too tight he gave it a wail a, com a complicated series of agonized rising vowels the sort of sound she had heard once in a comedy film when a waiter <laughs> weaving this way and that appeared to be about to drop a towering pile of super plates that's so specific <laughs> wow how do, you, how do you think that line up <laughs> let's all try to make that sound shall we what do you think Man, I've only heard this sound one other place, and that's when I was at Boston Pizza watching this guy fuck up a bunch of plates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, this is the, this is the real heavy hitter here. In horror, she let go as Ezward, rising up with a bewildered look, his muscular back arcing in spasms, emptied himself over Empty. in her gouts. In, in her gouts? In her gouts. In vigorous but diminishing that's quantities. I can show you the word. I'm, I'm, I know that it exists. I know. <laughs> gout, we gout gout again. That is such an amazing... <laughs> in horror, she let go as Edward, rising up with a bewildered look. His muscular back arcing in spasms emptied himself over in gouts in vigorous but diminishing quantities <laughs> filling her navel coating her belly thighs and even a portion of her chin and kneecap in tepid viscous fluid why does it go from chin to kneecap real fast <laughs> well, because he's a fucking baller <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's this guy who had balls chin just, kneecap I, got, hot. I got some on my chin i got some on my knee <laughs> vigor what's it vigorous but diminishing vigorous but diminishing yeah in uh, vigorous but diminishing yeah i gotta go jerk off i'll give it all, 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 all a couple more sentences here let's let's finish off this man's orgasm for the audience yeah that, thank you <laughs> yeah it was a you gotta, you gotta finish exactly you gotta finish it was a calamity, and she knew immediately it was all her fault. That she was inept, ignorant, and stupid. She should have not interfered. She should have never believed the manual. If his jugular had burst, it could have not... It, it could not have seemed more terrible. How did we get there? I don't know. <laughs> How typical her overconfident meddling in matters of awesome complexity. She should have known well enough that her attitude in rehearsals for the string quartet had no relevance here. Well, holy fuck, I cannot follow. <laughs>